Hi Zach, this is Lawrence from Lakeshore RV. We are going to do a quick orientation video on your new 2022 332ML Outback. Getting ready to come out to you here. First of following, the following week. Right here up at the front. Nice molded fiberglass cap. Two 30 pound propane tanks. Upgraded 7.3 leveling system, manual or auto. Nice little system right there. Right behind the propane tanks, new 12 volt interstate battery. This is your docking lights here for the front cap. This is an extra ZAMP solar tap in here that's pre wired. This is your Quickie battery disconnect box here. Nice LED front cap lights there for you. Coming down the camps or the non camp side, the driver's side is your water heater on demand. Underneath the front bed slide out, you're going to have a little storage bin we there. Shower, 50 well, amp power well. supply, 30 to 50 to 30 and 30 to 15 adapter, your basic sewer line hose, and your hot cold water spiral hose that will show you back by the convenience center. Right past the bed slide out is your black and gray tanks sewage discharge station. Living room slide out here. Coming down in the back corner on the non camp side is your convenience center. Your key TV system there. The blue cord is already pre wired for the satellite mount up on the top if you do use satellite. Otherwise, there's your main hookups there. Hot cold water system there, and then all your controls city water, fresh water, and all your instructions for your winterizations there. Sewer storage ports on the each side of the bumper. Your 50 amp power supply plug in there. It's a vent for the RV fridge there in the back. It is prepped for a solar backup, or I mean, sorry, uh, pre wired for a backup camera there. You do have a 200 watt solar on the roof already. That's part of the 2022 program with Keystone with a port to add another 200 up there. If you do add another 200, you do have to install your inverter and upgrade your charge port, which I'll show you in just a moment. Here is your camp kitchen station. Nice little fridge back here. Cupboards up above, nice powder coated finish countertop, three pull out drawers and a two burner suburban propane stove nice fold up steps there coming up to the front campsite there is an outside cable and power for outside tv station now the campsite nice pull out tray for that underbelly storage unit here up on the front inverter prep and your 15 amp charge controller if you end up going to an additional 200 watt solar panel, you would need to install the inverter as well as switching that from a 15 to a 30. So you have access to the uh, outlets inside for the inverter and your nice power awning with lights on the ends. Do you have the ability to pitch front or back for water runoff? Highly recommended if you do get rain. If you can't pull it in, you need to have that water runoff front or back. Outside zone two speakers. Let's go inside. Right inside, you're gonna have your AC and heating thermostats, your three heating holding tank systems, fresh black and gray main control panel which gives you all your readouts water pump only to be used if you're using fresh water and you need pressurized 
your interior lights, your slides, your awning, your hot water heater controls. For this to be used, there is a little toggle switch that's right on the outside of the water heater. You have to have that on and water in the system to be able to utilize your controls inside. Coming up into the main bathroom. Nice amount of cabinetry there. Nice corner shower station. Small little sink with storage. Porcelain basin there. Entrance into the front bedroom. Coming up into the front bedroom, a little night, a little dresser there. Controls and plugins and indicator for where you can mount a bracket if you do put a TV in here. This one does have the vent system up front, but it is pre-wired for a second AC unit. AC vents there. You are gonna have on the king size bed, storage in the front, little pet kennel if anybody decides to get put away. Large front wardrobe and in the front cabinet here. There's your washer dryer prep for a little stackable unit. Storage above the bed. Toggle lights. Turn on and off with a little push button. Come into the main quarters. There's your booth dinette. Theater seating recliners. Sofa with a pull out bed inside there. Right up above, right next to your main AC. This one does have the wine guard satellite prep for 4G and what pi. I can send you more information on that. Nice 50 inch TV station with your sound system and your fireplace. Nice cabinets all the way around. Right off your first kitchen basin there. Couple things to know. There's a little carbon monoxide meter there. Set of outlets, heat duct. Inside this cabinet here is your fuse panel breaker box. There's your back kitchen area. Nice farmhouse stainless steel sink. Residential style faucet with a drip tray dish station. Oven and three burner stove, just like your gas grill. Turn that on and click away. Fourth one's for the oven. Nice microwave and hood fan above that. Gas electric fridge. And additional cabinetry to the side. Well, congratulations, Zach. I hope this makes 2022 a wonderful year for you. Hope you guys have a great time in your new 2022 332ML Outback. Thanks again from Lawrence at Lakeshore RV.